Alright guys, my name is Eddie. Uh, I just wanted to make this video because I wanted to make something very interesting that I uh, saw in a uh, French documentary cooking. I saw a guy uh, having a pumpkin and he carved and he put a lot of things inside so I had this imagination of mixing something French with my mother's cooking. So uh, I'm gonna, uh, it was just kind of like a stuffed pumpkin. Alright, if you come closer over here I'll show you. Uh, we have in here uh, three types of milk. We have uh, la lechera, which is condensed milk. We have evaporated milk. Yes, these are little low products because I'm experimenting. Then I'll buy something better products. And then we have heavy whipped cream. All right, those are your three main um, milks. And then, of course, some seasonings. We have um, bay uh, bay leaves, which is hoja de laureles in Spanish, but you can find them in some uh, either Spanish stores, you can go to Walmart or other places, you'll find them in Spanish product. Then cinnamon sticks, and then of course we have some uh, pecans and almonds. Uh, we got some um, coconut flakes, and uh, some brown sugar, and uh, also a little uh, pumpkin uh, pie spice, some raisins, and then uh, we also have some, uh, we're gonna cook some bacon we're gonna put a little salting into this and then we have some uh, French bread which we which gonna slice and put it in the uh, in the oven to toast it and the main ingredient pumpkin so all right I'm gonna, sh I'll sh I'm gonna show you guys step by step what I'm gonna do like I said it's an experiment we'll see if it, it comes out like the way I want it all right all right guys what you're gonna do is um, are we gonna cut the bread we're gonna flip it over, it's a lot easier kind of if you flip it over actually, I learned a trick uh, so it will not be so messy. We're gonna cut it in tiny little slices, about that size, that's a good size. Like We're gonna toast it in the oven, so it will be so saggy so when uh, we put the milk over it. Right now what you do is you spread them over in these uh, pans. So make sure you spread them very well so they can get nice and toasty all around. Right. Now we're gonna put them in the oven. Right. One on the top, we're gonna turn the light. And you're just gonna, we're just gonna keep an eye on them. All right, all right guys, now we're gonna make the mix some um, spices together. Excuse me. Uh, we're gonna uh, put the evaporated milk. Alright. We're gonna put some um, the bay leaves, cinnamon, some raisins, and some um, dark brown sugar. So, Alright. Alright. Now, we're gonna put some canela, fresh canela, cinnamon. Let's break a little bit. Get a little taste out. Alright. Break into pieces. That's fine. Just a little bit. Then I'm gonna put some laurel and uh, leaves. Uh, that's a good amount. I'm gonna put some raisins in there. Just a little bit. Just a little amount just to get some flavor in there. let this sit for a second all right and I'll show you the next step okay. all right guys now that the uh, milk I'm mean, used up when you see the milk rising so we're just gonna let it sit for a second oh that smells really 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 good it smells really really good you can smell all the spices in there ah, amazing 
we're gonna let it sit up. Now next thing is we're gonna cook the bacon. Okay, this will bring you like some sweetness also, some saltiness to the, uh, to the dish. We want it to be very, very, very crispy. So this is a match, you don't need a match. This stomach is fine. So once I finish with this, I'll show you the next step. Alright? As you see how the uh, bread looks like, it's nice and toasty, it has like a good little tan color sort of my skin, but light, a little lighter, so I've got a little white, I didn't got so much, but that's fine, it's okay. We just want the bread to be a little toasty, that color, so you're gonna come over here. Alright, you see, now the bread is nice and nice and crispy, now we're gonna break these pieces. We just push it, and go in here, give a little um, towel, you soak it in, you're gonna break it, you know, like this, I'm trying to, take all your bread out of that bacon, sometimes. Alright guys, next step, now we're gonna mix the, uh, the three milks, I call it tres leches, so what you do is a, we put the heavy whipped cream. Nice condensed milk out of it. Alright. So this condensed milk. We don't want to waste nothing, you know. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We don't want to feed the raccoons outside. We have a raccoon outside. We call him Rick Snow. He's like the coolest raccoon ever. He's our little Game of Thrones guy. He likes to fight with us sometimes, so we call him Little Rick Snow. He's a pretty cool raccoon. Yeah, not the hint, so it's okay. Alright, so now after that, you're gonna get around and just pour everything in there. Okay. Have a nice little spot in here. Okay, mix it back. Okay, I usually will put brandy, but since I don't have brandy, I'm gonna put a little vodka. But let me taste this first. Oh, it's really old school, like my mom. Oh, that is delicious. That is very, very delicious. Mm. All right. Mm. Now, I'm gonna put a little hint of vodka. I will say this, but um, a shot. Just to just give it a little, a little kick to it. Brandy is better. You get some brandy. So since we don't have brandy, we're just gonna we're just gonna um, incorporate some vodka. Just a little bit. But then we have a little more. Can you not say this is a little too much? So I'm gonna probably a little more half of shot. About shot and a half. And just a little more. You just want like a uh, tiny bit of cake, not so much. What is? Sorry, it's falling there. Sorry about that, guys. Now, actually, it's gonna put. So it's gonna be actually two shots because I don't taste the spice yet. I'll say two shots, not it. No more than two shots. Alright, you see my head under the sugar, but it's alright. Well, that is perfection. That's a perfection sauce right there. You can't get any better than that. Alright, so I'm gonna show you my next step. Alright, time's up. Alright, guys, we're gonna carve the pumpkin. Well, I should use a different knife. Give me one second. Alright, dust. Put it away. Um, you guys can see I'm not an expert in cutting things. But, it's an experiment. Alright, take your time, cutting it. Make sure you're doing by um, rectangles. So, it will get easy. Halloween dish with your buddies, 
waiting for Thanksgiving. I picked this up for Thanksgiving if you guys haven't picked that one. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the next step. Alright, all right, guys, you're gonna put the temperature of uh, 350. Alright, so while that's heating up and bake, so we're gonna let it sit there for a second. Okay. Need to start. Put a little piece of layer. Alright. <laughs> now, what you're gonna do is um, put some, some, um, what do you call this again? Almonds, sorry, I forgot the name of it. So, a little bit of almonds in there. Alright, now I'm gonna put some walnuts. Put some there. I'm gonna put some um, coconut, shredded coconut. Get a mount, alright. I'm gonna put a little more raisins. Alright, spill it amount in there. Get a mount, perfect. Here. Spray it around. Get it nice and wet. Perfect. Alright. We forgot to add some bacon. Some bacon bits. Just tiny little, little pieces of bacon in there. That's all it is, yes. Just a little tiny bit of flavor. Alright. Now, again, we're gonna put the bread. Alright, bread in here. There we go. Do it over again. Put some walnuts. Make sure. Alright, guys, now as you can see, now we have put everything. And we're gonna do it. Okay, we're gonna close it back. Alright, nice and neat. Alright, the way it is, and now we're gonna put it in the oven for another after I have for myself. Alright, now we're gonna put the pumpkin in there. I need some room. Alright, so we're gonna leave the pumpkin in there. Alright, so we're gonna time it, and then I'll let you guys know when it's finished and how it looks. Right. This is the way it looks like. Inside. Alright. I uh, checked and everything's good. Alright, well, let me put this back. Okay. Alright, sorry about that. I had to fix that a little bit. Well, anyways, like I said, that's how the inside looks like. As you can see, I grab a little bit on the inside of the pumpkin as well. And here it is. This little piece, you can see right here, the little bread, it's a little moist. And then you see your raisins, your nuts, walnuts, um, the almonds, this is some raisins. There'll be a little of um, cinnamon, a little stick cinnamon. There's a little pumpkin right there. So I'm gonna test it, see how it tastes like. Yeah, need that to work. Perfect. Let's dig it in here. Alright. I'm so excited. I'm very excited to see how much sperm it tastes like. Mmm. It is very moist, guys. I mean, I can taste the tres leches, the milk. That's so soft. It's like, so dense. It's like not overpowering sweet, but it's like a very light sweet. I mean, I can taste all the um, spices that I put. And it's like, man, it's just like nice and soft and moist. It's just like the perfect, not so sweet. It's just, it's the perfect delight. I'm gonna put a little pumpkin in here. Alright. Mm, oh my gosh, this is so delicious, guys. It's literally so delicious. I can say I'm not a chef, but I have these ideas in my head. Um, when I put them together, it just comes perfectly. Look at that. So refined. The pumpkin is. Perfect click to perfection. Like I say, an hour and a half. That's pretty much all you need. Mmm. 